this is the transport mechanism and this loose belt you can see here is for the counter that's uh, on the main plate here so that's why I've that's why it's loose like that but anyway let's have a tour of the um, mechanics now there's a single motor here which drives all the parts that turn the uh, take up reel table is connected to the motor via fiber belt here and that's in pretty good condition it's not disintegrating or anything the capstan flywheel connects to the motor via this idler here and for a wind the take up reel table connects to this pulley via this rather thick belt and that comes into contact with the motor and you get the wind let's just see some of the parts that work here I'm going to put it in play and as you probably noticed the um, idler moved to connect the motor and the uh, flywheel together and this wheel moved as well to provide tension for the fibre belt in fact there's enough tension to actually turn all the parts by hand well that's not the point um, if I fast forward it simply disengages the pinch roller and uh, in rewind don't know if you saw this wheel move here it's uh, a very small motion so this wheel and the motor are now connected and uh, when I turn it as you can see the that's how you get rewind for some reason in rewind the uh, capstan turns as well I uh, don't know why I mean obviously it's because this uh, idler engages but I don't know why that is um, show you the heads up close and if you can see that I mean, the actual um, heads there they're, they're either plastic or brass I can't really make out which there I'm showing you from this angle here because it's uh, much easier to see to change the speed I use this lever here as you can see it changes the, you know, the position of the idler so that's for the high speed and that's for the low speed like in a lot of reel to reels the uh, capstan has a removable sleeve when you want to use 19 centimeters a second the uh, or 9.5 centimeters the screw the sleeve on if you want to use it at 4.8 take the sleeve off and just put it on here for um, so you don't lose it and simply switch the switch into the slow speed position okay I'm probably running out of time here so I think there's just enough time to show you the uh, buttons and switches these are uh, two buttons here are for record you, know, you press either one down depending on which channel you want to record and if you, if you want stereo you obviously press them both down together uh, this switch well as you can see turns it on and off You've got the volume and uh, tone controls along here. These meters always fall out when I uh, take this thing apart. That's why they're like that. And these two switches here 
Well, this one is for stereo or mono operation. You can get two stereo recordings or four mono recordings on a single tape, as this is a four track machine. And this switch here, so you can monitor what's going in when you're recording. The uh, speakers and uh, input jacks on the side here are connected with this, the, um, this connector here. So pull that out, you can see you know, what, it's, what it looks like. And there's also another one on the other side for the other speaker and the um, other input jacks. This was in pretty good condition when I got it. I could record and play, except if I use the 19 centimeter per second tape speed, all I get out of this speaker was an irritating high-pitched noise and a sort of <coughs> sort of sound as well. I found the problem. It was a bad capacitor, and uh, using Cassette Master's technique, I managed to find the capacitor and replace it, and uh, it now works fine. Okay, well that's just about it from me. Uh, I've got to get this put back together now and uh, get this video edited and put on YouTube. Uh, I'd just like to say if anybody knows for what year this tape recorder is from, I'd like to um, just leave something in the comments. I think it's from the 60s, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so until next time, goodbye for me. Hi there, I'm Clement Sagers, and today I'm going to show you my vintage reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. So anyway, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello there. This also has a, uh, um, what am I going to say now? Anyway, uh, do you want to have a look inside this? I wasn't asking you. And get this video put, and get this video put on YouTube. Hey, is it? Oh, she is not Yes, but the need is taking off some